A tragic warehouse fire broke out in Oakland, California this past weekend, and unfortunately 36 bodies have been recovered, and firefighters believe that more dead bodies are going to be found as the cleanup effort continues. Now, Monday morning, they actually had to stop with their, um, you know, their attempts to find more bodies because the structure was so dangerous that they were worried for their own safety. Now we have some photos of the damage and right now authorities don't know exactly which floor the fire began in or what caused the fire, but what they do know is that this warehouse broke many codes and did not have the necessary um, you know, equipment to, to stop it. So it didn't have sprinklers, uh, it didn't have proper exits, and it didn't even have a proper staircase. And we'll get to that in just a minute. Now we have video uh, showing what the blaze looked like, and um, you know we can take a look at that for B-roll, but let me give you some more information. The building did have a permit to operate as a warehouse, um, but not as a residence or party site. There was a party happening uh, during this fire. So a f an EDM sort of concert was happening, and then the fire broke out and people were trapped inside. But the building has been under investigation for code violations. The building lacked sprinklers and had only two exits. An ad hoc staircase was made out of wooden pallets. So as you can imagine, in a fire, it's not very useful. Yeah, this is why we do regulations. Because sometimes there's a fire. Yeah, it's not any particular party or office space or whatever that you work in. It's not likely to have a fire, but it happens sometimes. And when it does, you shouldn't have wooden staircases. I know, I, I partly live this. Um, I had a fire happen in my um, apartment when I was a senior in college. And, and the landlord came in and we wasn't clear why it happened, probably some electrical wiring, and he was... And all of our clothes got burned, our furniture got burned, everything. Mm -hmm. Thank God we weren't in there at the time. And thank God it wasn't nighttime when we were sleeping. Um, and, uh, and then he was like, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to compensate you guys for all that stuff. And then we noticed, uh, and a reporter that came in noticed, there was a wooden staircase for the emergency exit. He's like, yeah, never mind. Yeah, I'll, yeah, yeah. No, go ahead. Get your stuff dry cleaned. I'll, I'll pay for it. Okay. Get your stuff dry cleaned, I'll pay for it. I know, that's wow. all that happened. Now this was a thousand times more serious, yes. 36 people, right? And so if you have wooden exits and you don't have enough sprinklers or you don't have enough exits, it's not, the government's not trying to be a pain in your ass. And do they over-regulate sometimes? Of course they do, right? And we feel hemmed in by those regulations just like you do from time to time. We, in one of our post games, Anna talked about when she was in Mexico and, you know, and, and sometimes the... Ah, uh, you don't have the regulations. You feel a little freer. We understand that. Yeah, especially when you're buying drugs. Yeah. So uh, Just yeah, among other things. <laughs> right. So I, I, we get it. We get it. But this is why you should understand that they're not just doing things randomly. Sometimes you need more than two exits. You certainly need a staircase that's not going to burn in the middle of a fire, and that's why they make you put sprinklers in. Because if you had all that stuff in, maybe they're all alive today. You're right. I mean, the death toll is insane. 36 people have died. Uh, and again, firefighters expect to recover more bodies. And the bodies were so charred and so damaged from the fire that only 11 of them have been identified. So right now, there are families in Oakland and honestly throughout the country that are waiting to hear about what happened to their loved ones. By the way, um, officials actually were notified about possible code violations as uh, recent as November 13th. And so uh, individuals from the city showed up to, to see what was going on, to investigate, and they were unable to get into the building. There was no one there. No one knew that it was being utilized uh, as a residence. There were a lot of artists that were uh, using it as a place to stay. Again, that went against the law. They weren't supposed to do that. So we'll see how this all goes down in terms of you know consequences for the person who owns the property. But yeah, regulations matter. Regulations like this are so important. It could have saved so many lives. And this is not a developing country. This is a story of something that happened here in America. So the next time a fire marshal comes and says there's too many people here or you're not following the law, uh, remember, he's not just trying to be a pain. Sometimes there's very, very good reason for that. Yep. So uh, our hearts go out to everybody involved and, and we know some people here who've already been getting notes from people that they know in Oakland and so it, it's tragic and, and obviously 
our best wishes to the families. You know who makes independent media possible? You guys. Because of you, we can actually do this show free of any outside influence. That's what makes us so strong. Become a member today. TYTnetwork.com slash join. You are the media.